we're asked to write the quadratic function f of x equals negative x squared minus 3x plus 4 in vertex form. Notice how the given quadratic function is in the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, which is often referred to as general form or standard form. And our goal is to write the given quadratic function in vertex form, which is the form f of x equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. So because the given quadratic function is in the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, we'll use these formulas here to find the vertex and then write the quadratic function in vertex form. So when we have a quadratic function in the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, the equation of the axis of symmetry or line of symmetry is x equals negative b divided by 2a, and therefore the x-coordinate of the vertex is also negative b divided by 2a, and the y-coordinate of the vertex is f of negative b divided by 2a. So beginning with the given function, f of x equals the opposite, or negative x squared minus 3x plus 4. Let's identify the values of a, b, and c. a is the coefficient of x squared, so a equals negative 1. b is the coefficient of x, so b equals negative 3. And we don't need it, but notice how c is equal to positive 4. Now let's determine the equation of the axis of symmetry, which is x equals negative b divided by 2a, which in this case would be negative or the opposite of negative 3 divided by 2 times negative 1. Simplifying, we have positive 3 divided by negative 2, or negative 3 halves. So because the equation of the axis of symmetry is x equals negative 3 halves, we also know the x-coordinate of the vertex is negative 3 halves. And now to find the y-coordinate, we need to evaluate the function at x equals negative 3 halves, which is indicated by our formula f of negative b divided by 2a. So f of negative 3 halves is equal to the opposite of the square of negative 3 halves minus 3 times negative 3 halves plus 4. Simplifying, the square of negative 3 halves is positive 9 fourths, but then we have the negative sign here, so it's negative 9 fourths, and then minus 3 times negative 3 halves, which would be negative 9 halves. So minus negative 9 halves is plus 9 halves. And let's write 4 as 4 over 1. To add the fractions, we need a common denominator. Notice how the least common denominator would be 4. So multiply 9 halves by 2 over 2 and 4 by 4 over 4. Notice now we do have a common denominator of 4. And the numerator would be negative 9 plus 18 plus 16, which is equal to 25 fourths. So now we know the y-coordinate of the vertex is 25 fourths. We now have all the information we need to write the quadratic function in vertex form. The value of a in vertex form is the same as the value of a in general or standard form. So we know a equals negative 1. And because we now have the vertex, we know h equals negative 3 halves, and k is equal to positive 25 fourths. So the quadratic function in vertex form is f of x equals a, which is negative 1, times the quantity x minus h squared, which would be x minus negative 3 halves squared, plus k, which would be plus 25 fourths, Simplifying, because a is negative 1, we can write this as f of x equals just negative or the opposite of the quantity. This would be the quantity x plus 3 halves squared plus 25 fourths. Before we go, let's look at this graphically. If you were to graph both of these functions on the same coordinate plane, we get the same parabola shown here in blue. And notice how the vertex is negative 3 halves comma 25 fourths. So this graph does verify our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.